Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. Today we are going to see how to make warehouse product count example using PLC. So first of all, let us understand the problem definition. So when the product enters into the warehouse, you can better visualization. I have created one HMI screen over here. You can see this is the boundary of warehouse and this is the entry point and this is the exit point. So when the product enters into the warehouse from the entry point, it is sensed by sensor X0 and the counter increase its value by 1 and HMI shows the number of product currently present in the warehouse. So from this screen you can see it will be sensed from X0 and the value of counter will increase by 1 and this will also show the number of products currently present in the warehouse. Similarly. If the product leaves the warehouse from the exit point, then this X1 sensor will sense the product and decrease the counter value by 1. And again, it will show the present number of products available in warehouse. Finally, we have assumed that the capacity of the warehouse is to store 10,000 products. So if any time the number of products in the warehouse become equals to 10,000, this is the output Y0. This will on and it will show that the space is full. So you can see from here, uh, this is the starting position. As the product number will increase, this chart also helps to visualize better. And similarly, if the product number reaches to the 10,000, that means the whole warehouse is full. So it is indicated by output Y0, which here shows the full status. Here you can see it is showing space available. So let us understand the wiring required to create this project. First of all, we will understand the input circuit. So in the source sync of the input, we will connect the ground terminal of our SMPS. Now we have two digital inputs, entry sensor and exit sensor. So this can be proximity sensors. So now we will connect 24 volt supply to the one terminal of each sensor. So another terminal of entry sensor, we will connect it to X0 and another terminal of exit sensor, we will connect it to X1. So while doing the programming, you have to remember that which is our entry sensor and which is our exit sensor. So X0 is our entry sensor and X1 is our exit sensor. And we only have one output that is our lamp. Whenever the warehouse will be Full, this lamp will glow. So we will connect this lamp at our output Y0. So one terminal of lamp we will connect it to 24 volt supply and another terminal of our lamp we will connect it to Y0. Similarly the common of this output we have to connect it to ground of SMPS. So this is our digital outputs and this is our digital inputs. Now let us understand the logic required to create this project. First of all whenever the product will enter X0 sensor will sense the product and generate a rising edge pulse. This pulse is used to set the mode of the counter to up counter. First of all, we have to set the mode of the counter like whether we want to increase or we want to decrease. So when the product enters, we want to increase the counter. So first of all, we will set up counting mode. After that, the same pulse will be given to counter to increase its value by 1. Similarly, if the product exists, then X1 sensor will detect and generate one rising edge pulse. So first of all, we want to change the mode of the counter. Now here, what we want, the counter should decrease. So we have to set the down counting mode for the counter. So by the same pulse, first we will set the down counting mode. After that, we will give pulse to the counter. So our counter value this time will decrease by 1. Finally, here we will do one comparison of the counter value. If the value of counter becomes equal to 10,000, that is assumed over here. So if the counter value becomes equal to our set value, then our output Y0 will become on. And accordingly, the HMI message will be displayed that space is available or it is pulled. So this is all about the logic. Let us start our programming. 
So now I will open my ISP soft software from here. First of all, let us click on new button from here and click yes over here. Now let us give name to our project. Click on OK button. First of all, we will write the device comment list from here. So double click over this. Now at the X0, we will write input sensor and X1 we will write exit sensor. We have used one output Y0 which is our lamp and the counter C0. So here I will just write counter and close this box now click on programs and right click on it and click on new file and just click ok over here let me maximize this so first of all we will write network comment over here count up mode Press enter button. So let us select the contact from here and drag your cursor to this red portion and write over here X0. So this is our input sensor and what we want, we want rising edge. So double click over it and select the rising edge. Now through this, what we want to do, we want to set the counter mode up. So before that, just go to device comment list and uh, in the counter I have selected C0 but actually uh, we are going to use C200 so let me scroll this down to so we are going to use counters C200, I will explain you later. So, right now, here I will write counter and press enter and close this box, or uh, you can go to programs by clicking over here. Now, we will understand the counter function over here. So, for that, go to help function and uh, click on this PLC instruction and special registers. And uh, from here in the search box, you have to type DCNT that is double counter because we are going to use this double counter and press enter. So, from here, you have to select this first one and double click over it and maximize this. So, you can see this is our double counter 32 bit counter. This is the mnemonics of this counter. Okay, so it has three inputs first is for enable when this will be run. After that, there is the S1. Here we will write the number of counters. So here you can see this instruction is used uh, for 32 bit counters, which starts from C200 to C255. Now, if you want to change the mode of this counter, that is up counter or down counter, you can see from here we have to on off this special register M1200 for C200 and so on up to. M1234 is available for C255. So right now we will use C200 and its mode can be changed from here M1200. Okay. So let us close this. So here I have to reset the M1200 because if that is the off, then it will sense the up counter. So here select the output coil from here its name M1200 and press enter and now we want to reset this so double click over it and select reset so now it will understand that we have to count up similarly insert a network write a co network comment over here down 
काउंटिंग मोड प्रेस एंटर सो अगेन हियर वी विल यूज एक्स वन सेंसर सो सिलेक्ट कॉन्टेक्ट फ्रॉम हियर एम एक्स वन डबल क्लिक ओवर इट टू सिलेक्ट राइजिंग एज एंड अगेन हियर इन आउटपुट वी विल सिलेक्ट द कोइल एंड नेम इट एस एम वन टू जीरो जीरो प्रेस एंटर नाउ डबल क्लिक ओवर इट टू सिलेक्ट द सेट सो वॉट इट विल डू इफ द इनपुट सेंसर विल एक्टिवेटेड इट विल रिसेट दिस स्पेशल रजिस्टर सो इट विल कंसिडर टू काउंट अप एंड इफ द एग्जिट सेंसर सेंस इज द प्रोडक्ट it will set this register m1200 so plc will do down counting mode now again insert a network from here here i will write give pulse to counter press enter so first of all there are two ways to give pulse to the counter either input sensor can give pulse to the counter or exit sensor can give pulse to the counter so we have to create two inputs in parallel so select a contact from here and again when the parallel sign appears select it so you can see two inputs are created in parallel so let's name it x0 and this will be x1 now double click over it to select the rising edge and here also we will select rising edge so now what it will do it will give pulse to the counter so again go to functions block select all types here we will write d c n t that is the mnemonic for double counter and click insert over here so you can see this will give enable bit that means it will work now here we will write the counter number so here we have used c200 Uh, as you can see over here c200 counting mode so here we also have to use c200 now here we have to use the set value so what we have set it that it should count up to 10000 values okay so here we will write 10000 so when this 10000 is counted it will set this c200 bit that means this counter bit will be on so insert network from here here in the network comment i will write length indication enter so when the counter reaches to the 10000 value lamp should on so insert a contact from here here i will write c200 and here we want one output emit y0 you can see over here if this counting is completed then this bit will become on and it will make our lamp on so this is all about the programming of warehouse product count example its hmi designing and simulation we will see in our next video if you want to learn more examples like this just like and subscribe our youtube channel automationcommunity.com